Hi, and welcome to Monster Hunter World Part 5. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the uh, Plunderer's Blade for your Palico. So it's in the Rotten Vale, and you'll want to come down to Zone 13 here. So start in the Central Camp. There we are. And jump down and to the right here, and one more right. Go all the way down until you see all of the acid pits and keep going right. <laughs> uh, sorry for the weird cut here, but just jump up those and keep going up and through this little way here. Grab some cactus and mine one and two things of ore if you want. It's there. <laughs> and then make your way to the left here. When you come through here, you'll see the feline right there and when you approach it will disappear you can talk to this guy here sometimes he'll give you a quest uh, but if not just turn around this guy was here so i just looted him i don't know why it was here but yeah uh, then back around go back the same way that you came through except you're going right not left this time so back through the little crawl space and then make another right when you get through into here and you'll see him again now when you approach he'll run away uh, but he won't completely leave the area so drop down a piece of raw meat here Just right wherever and then hide and crouch so they can't see you Wait a few seconds and you'll see a dialogue start to pop up in the right there between your palico and then the Grimalkin I think is what they're called uh, After a few seconds of dialogue it'll come over and it'll bring its friends They'll all dance around like they are right now and you can go and talk to them so after a little cutscene between your Palico and the Plunderer Grimalkin, uh, you will receive the Plunderer's Blade as well as the ability for your Palico while you're in the Rotten Vale to ride those small little, um, uh, I can't remember the name of them, but they're, they're this, one of the small animals down here. They can ride them and they do shock damage and... It helps a lot for when you're taking down the Odo, the dragon looking thing, I don't know. Uh, so when you're back in your room here, talk to your Palico. And you can see it sitting in the box behind him. Change your Palico equipment and it is down right there. That is what you want. Just going through equipment here. Uh, now I will show you we're down in the Rotten Vale again, and we are fighting one of these guys Now there is a chance for him to knock off pieces, but generally what he does is you, you won't come across it until after uh, And it will appear in your Inventory uh, the end the end quest inventory I'm just going to take a sip of coffee here. So this is my first attempt to beat this guy. Uh, oh no, there we go. I think there was a piece there, maybe. Uh, like I said, sometimes they'll drop on the ground. Oh, oh, I died. I think I died twice here. Uh, first attempt on solo in one, so... <laughs> And I'm still learning the combat. Uh, the combat's really um, extensive in, and in depth. Uh, there's a lot to it. I thought this was interesting. It dragged the, the dead corpse of one of those flying things through that little that little area. But he's back down here where his lair is. It's down in the depths of the veil uh, where all of those pits of acid are. Yes, do not jump into them the blue glowing stuff it's not water <laughs> ah, there you can see pieces are starting to drop off them and that's all due to the uh, palico and there he goes to riding one of the little guys there it helps a lot you'll see in the next few minutes uh it actually will stun the boss that you're fighting or the monster and it'll make it easy for you to get some free hits on him while he's stunned there we go that is all the palico in his mount. 
but yeah there's one more piece of gear that i'm going to make a video for after this one uh and it's specifically for you not your palico and if you equipped that combined with the palico um piece that he's equipped right now the blades there the plunder blades uh if you have both of those equipped you can do really well with um collecting parts off of monsters and um, specifically ones that you can sell like large scales and stuff like that but you'll also get a lot of um, a lot of craftable materials as well mainly from your palico but both of them combined are probably my favorite uh, combination of gear to use right now all right so I think we're coming up on the near end of fighting him there he's down is good uh, yeah so I'm I'm doing okay I've moved on from sword and shield and I'm starting to use the dual blades now I like the uh, the jump attack that you do where you spiral down the back of the monster you do a lot of damage as well as mounting them when you do and you attack their head at the end when you get that little um, bonus damage where you're doing like 20 to 50 damage uh, you'll actually while using the dual blades you'll pull out the dual blades and you do massive massive damage to it but I think uh, I think I might try out the insect glaive next that one looks pretty cool all of the aerial attacks you can do with it are really interesting but yeah this guy's a uh, quite hard to um take down at least for me right now but I'm, I'm new to the whole monster hunter franchise as i said before so i'm still learning everything but i'm really enjoying the game now i don't know exactly what that is um i'm too focused on the boss and killing him i don't know if dialogue pops up and my palico tells me or not but I run back into it and it doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what it is. All I know is that when I go in it, it puts a status on me, whatever it does. Just healing up here. I don't know how to get rid of the um, that status effect. I assume it's bleed. I think um, I could be wrong, but whatever status effect that the Odo Odogarin, I don't know how to pronounce it, the monster I'm fighting right now, whatever it puts on you and your health turns like that, the only thing that I've found that will get rid of it are sun, sun scales, I believe, or golden scale, no, sun scales, I think they are. You get them from fish, there's tons of them around. close to death here he's coming up on the end I took out his tail I can't remember if I've actually picked up the tail pieces or not there you go unfortunately the guys that are not um, on your palico's team they're those enemies the little ones if they hit you they'll stun you as well so they can stun the big boss but they can also stun you down to its lair. I think this is the last time it comes down here. Though I could be wrong. No, it's sleeping, so it should be close to death now. And there we go. Final phase of the battle. better at doing the uh, 
the remount when it knocks you off, pressing X at the right time to grapple hook back onto it. When I was starting out doing that, it was really difficult for me, but I think I've got it down pat now. Uh, so now we come down here, and this is the final bit here. I kill him on this ridge right here, just back a little ways. Normally when I fought this guy, I've been with a group of three or four people, so doing it by myself is definitely a challenge. stunned again. Unfortunately, I was stunned too, so there wasn't much I could do. Alright, and that is the hunt. So... Uh, if this was helpful to anyone, let me know, leave a like and a comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.